good morning to everyone good morning good morning so before going to the uh, next uh, topic uh, just i want to show you the syllabus so now we are uh, discussing third unit uh, vector uh, differentiation so i think uh, i finished up to uh, vector uh, operator identities uh, and then now i am going to start uh, conservative forces okay and then line integrals and then i gave already condition of in, uh, incompressibility <coughs> what is the condition of uh, uh, incompressibility anybody what is the condition of incompressibility i gave in the notes the divergent of f equal to 0 very good money and done okay divergence of effect equal to 0 okay so uh, flow of a compressible uh, fluid actually this is in the erwin crazy book okay flow of compressible fluid physical meaning of the divergence okay so just to go through uh, these topics uh, in advanced engineering mathematics by erwin uh, raising okay uh, and if there is any problems in the exercise try to solve those problems so maybe that will help you so now i am going to concentrate uh, more on uh, fourth unit the reason is uh, in the fourth unit we have three important theorems one is the green theorem another one is the stokes theorem another one is the gauss divergence theorem <coughs> i am expecting uh, uh, i am expecting uh, uh, questions from all the three uh, theorems so that's why i am going to concentrate <coughs> more on vector integration so first i will finish the important topic and then i'll come back uh, maybe i'll come back later uh, condition of incompressibility or flow of uh, compressible fluid later suppose if time does not permit either i will take uh, extra glasses otherwise i will record and then i will i will post in the uh, group so i, I try to avoid uh, just to recording and posting the group okay because that is uh, that is not good for you i know that okay. that's why now i am telling please go through the topic so if you have any doubts you can discuss uh, through whatsapp okay uh, now i am going to start uh, conservative forces and line integrals So vector integration. So first, uh, just I am going to give some of the basic notations and definitions. Line integral. Okay. Integral over C f vector dot dr vector is called the L uh, line integral of. And one more thing, uh, the syllabus is comparatively very less. So uh, in my opinion. Uh, if you study first and second unit, so that is, especially second unit is very big, okay? And uh, if you compare third and fourth unit, so you can, you, is, uh, the content is very less, but uh, the mark, the distribution of mark is the same. So concentrate more on uh, third and fourth unit, because I already you finished a first and second unit. So try to concentrate more on these uh, two units. Uh, okay, so line integral, uh, integral over C f factor dot dr vector is called a line integral of f factor along the curve C. And, and uh, integral over C phi dr vector and uh, integral over C f factor dot dr vector is also line integrals. So next, uh, work done by a force. Work done by a force a factor in displacing a particle from the point from the point A to B along the curve along the curve C 
along the curve C is given by integral A to B f vector dot dr vector. So if the value of the integral A to B uh, f vector dot dr vector does not depend on the curve but uh, it depends only on the end points or terminal points A and B <coughs> then we say that the f vector is called <coughs> conservative vector and okay so this integral value is depending only on the end points and it is not depending upon the curve that is that it is not uh, depending upon the interior points it depends only on the end points then we say that uh, the f vector is uh, conservative vector and the last one is uh, notation if the path of integration c is a closed curve so this this is not a closed curve okay suppose uh, this is a closed curve okay uh, then the line integral is denoted by integral or c so this is the notation for closed it should be a circle the factor dot dr vector okay so next uh, theorem statement is uh, okay the theorem is for condition for a factor to be conservative okay so why we need this condition so it is very difficult to check uh, this integral does not depends on the curve okay uh, so for this i need some uh, uh, some simpler form okay uh, that's why that is a that is a maybe the intuition because uh, <coughs> from a to b you have so many curves you can draw so many paths so maybe maybe uh, the value of the integral is is not depending upon this path maybe if i choose some other path it may be it may be depend depending upon the curve so so it is uh, uh, actually this is a sufficient condition this is the sufficient condition uh, sufficient condition means if your factor is irrotational then it is conservative uh, okay so but the converse is not true that means converse means uh, if your factor is conservative it need not be a uh, rotation okay. so the statement is uh, if your factor is rotational then your factor is conservative so to prove your factor is conservative i need to prove uh, integral a to b f factor dot dr vector depends only on the end points so i'll start the proof integral a to b f factor dot dr vector okay uh, before this uh, i want to say uh, if f factor is uh, since we are assuming what the factor is rotational since f factor is rotational So f factor equal to f factor equal to what? Delphi. Yeah, delphi. F factor equal to delphi. Very good. Okay. So now integral from A to B. F factor. dot dr vector equal to integral a to b the factor is del phi dot dr vector so this is equal to integral a to b del phi is i vector into dou phi by dou x 
j vector into dou phi by dou y k vector into dou phi by dou z dot product with dr vector dr vector is dx into i vector dy into j vector dz into k vector if you take a dot product we'll get uh, it will be a dou phi by dou x into dx dou phi by dou y into dy dou phi by dou z into dz so this is nothing but uh, uh, by using the definition of a total derivative I, we can write this is equal to d phi so if you integrate uh, d phi we will get phi limit is from a to b so phi of upper limit b phi of b minus phi of u so so we proved the we proved integral a to b f factor dot dr vector equal to phi of b minus phi of a so it uh, the value of this integral depends only on depends only on terminal points so the factor is conservative so we we'll go to the first problem so please write down the problem find the work done uh, in a force f factor equal to x square minus y square plus x into i vector plus of uh, minus 2xy minus y into j vector this places a particle in the xy plane from 0 comma 0 to 1 comma 1 along the curve y equal to x subdivision 1 subdivision 2 along the curve y square equal to x so here f factor is given uh, so I just have right here f factor equal to x square minus uh, y square plus x into i vector plus minus 2xy minus y into j vector and uh, r vector we know that r vector is xi position vector xi vector plus yj vector plus zk vector but we are in the xy plane okay so dr vector equal to dx into i vector plus uh, dy into j vector so this is uh, dr vector so f vector dot uh, dr vector is equal to if you take a dot product you will get x square minus v square plus x into dx uh, if you take a dot product minus of 2xy plus y 
into dy and uh, here the points are zero comma zero two one comma one so x varies from zero to one similarly y varies from zero to one okay now uh, first subdivision First subdivision is uh, along the curve v equal to x. So this implies uh, dy equal to dx. If anybody got the answer, you can uh, you can tell. So now the question is what? Work done by the force. So work done by the force is integral over c. F factor dot dr vector. So it will see f factor dot dr vector is just now we have this expression. It is uh, x square minus y square plus x into dx minus 2xy plus y into d okay now uh sir, i have it yeah please sir uh, minus 2 by 3 yeah minus 2 by 3 is correct for y equal to x okay and good. for the y square equal to x is also minus 2 by 3 okay very good uh, anushka good okay i think you solved uh, please check the method is also whether uh, you are doing the same procedure okay uh, please check it. Okay, good. Uh, now I am going to write. Uh, I am going to write y in terms of x, or we can write x in terms of y. That is up to you. Okay. So here uh, I am going to write uh, y in terms of x. So then uh, x square equal to what? Y square x square is y square minus y square is I will keep y square as it is plus uh, x is equal to uh, y okay x equal to y okay and then dy what is the dy dy is dx is dy minus uh, <coughs> minus 2 into uh, x x is y y plus y into d so y varies from 0 to 1 okay y varies from 0 to 1 so here y square y square gets cancelled okay actually this is actually work done okay uh, integral 0 to 1 y dy minus uh, this is actually uh, okay i think uh, here you can cancel it is better to y square y square gets cancelled plus y dy minus y dy gets cancelled remember you have minus 2 y square dy so minus uh, 2 y square dy so if you take minus 2 commonly uh, y cube by 3 uh, 0 to 1 so from this you get to minus 2 by 3 upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 so you'll get to minus 2 by 3 okay are you follow the same procedure and Anushka or some other method Yes, sir. This only for. So okay, good. Yes. Now, uh, subdivision two because some some students will do uh, maybe the students uh, they studied plus one plus two uh, they studied uh, line integrals. So 
so uh, that's why I'm asking. Okay. Uh, substitution two y square equal to x. So here two uh, y dy two y dy equal to dx. So now I need to calculate uh, work done by the force that is integral over c f factor dot dr vector which is equal to integral over c f factor dot dr vector is x square minus y square plus x into dx minus 2xy plus y into d okay so now i i feel that uh, here it is better to write in terms of uh, y okay uh, uh, it is better to write in terms of y okay so uh, x square equal to x is equal to y square so x square equal to y power 4 y square keep y square as it is uh, plus x is uh, y square into dx so dx is 2y dy minus 2x is y square into y plus y into dy so you'll get uh, y minus y square plus y square gets cancelled 2y power 5 dy but here you should write y equal to 0 to 1 uh, 0 to 1 uh, okay and then uh, 2y power 5 and then here you have minus 2y cube okay minus y into dy so if you integrate you get 2 into y power 6 by 6 minus 2 into y power 4 by 4 minus y square by 2. limit is from 0 to 1 so lower limit is 0 we know that so upper limit is 2 by 6 is uh, 1 by 3 minus uh, 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 uh, minus uh, and then minus 1 by 2 upper limit lower limit is 0 so 1 by 3 minus 1 1 by 3 minus 1 that is uh, minus 2 by 3 so I got the answer for the second subdivision also sir yeah please tell me can we do one thing in x and uh, other thing in y, sir? Yes, you can do. Okay, you, you can do in uh, even uh, here. Okay, that is uh, that is up to your convenience in the examination. Even you can do both of them in x, or even both of them are y, or one is in x, other in is y. Okay, so all are uh, you can do. Okay, so there is a, it's, it's just convenience. Okay. Uh, so, so actually I should do the previous one is uh, in terms of X. Okay, so, okay, it's so, Yes, I done it both, both of them in Y. So you may have some doubts. Okay, so. I got the answer both uh, uh, minus 2 by 3. Okay. So, uh, what is the conclusion? I, or you got any conclusion from this answer? Can you tell anything about F factor? Sir, wait, you have sir. Uh, uh, correct. Let me run clear as well. Uh, F is conservative. Yeah, F is conservative vector. Okay. It only depends on that uh, initial point and the final point. Uh, it is depending upon the uh, endpoints. Okay, it is depending upon the endpoints because uh, uh, you are choosing the two different curves, but you are getting the uh, same answer. So it's depending upon the endpoints. Thank you, Lakshmi Narayanan. Thank you, Dikshida. Okay.
so but we are uh, but we are choosing all we are checking only two two curves so uh, in safer point we may say uh, the wave factor may be conservative okay because uh, only thing if i check f factor is rotation then we say that it should be uh, conservative now i can say it is it may be conservative okay i will i'll write here as the work done by the force when it moves when it moves a particle along two different paths two different paths from 0,0 to 1,1 are equal comma the force may be conservative be a conservative force. So in fact, uh, in fact, the is a conservative force. force as a factory is rotational. Okay. So second problem. Uh, second problem. Find the work done by the force a factor equal to 2xy plus z cube into i vector plus x square into j vector plus 3x z square into k vector uh, when it moves a particle from the point uh, 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 to 3 comma 1 comma 4 along any path okay so here in the in the previous problem uh, the path is a given and uh, the points also given okay so to evaluate the work done by the force so we need uh, two things one is the equation of the path another one is the end points or terminal points must be given so as the equation of the path is not given the question so uh, we can uh, we guess that uh, f factor is uh, conservative but uh, first we should verify whether a factor is conservative. Okay. Uh, for this, it is enough to check uh, a factor is irrotational. So, so please check a factor is irrotational. Uh, that is Velcro's F factor. Equal to zero. I need to prove. So, I vector. Uh, J vector, K vector, dou by dou x, dou by dou y, dou by dou z, and uh, 2xy plus z cube and x square, 3x z square. 
so i vector into uh, with respect to y zero so with respect to z zero minus uh, j vector into leave this column and leave this row with respect to x three uh, z square uh, minus with respect to z three z square so plus uh, k vector into leave this column leave this row so two x with respect to y uh, minus two x so you will get uh, zero so this implies uh, f factor is rotational so therefore f factor is uh, irrotational so and hence uh, and hence the factor is conservative conservative so uh, so if the effect is conservative uh, we can say that uh, work done by the force effect uh, depends only on the terminal point work done by the force effect uh, depends only uh, only on the in uh, on the terminal points or end points okay so also we have uh, a factor is uh, irrotational okay then already we proved that your factor equal to delta so from this we can find the phi so what is your factor please check your 2xy plus z cube into i vector plus x square into j vector plus 3x z square into k vector Okay, so del phi, del phi is i vector into dou phi by dou x. Plus j vector. Plus k vector into dou phi by dou z. Now equate uh, component wise, uh, we will uh, get dou phi by dou x is equal to I think I'll be uh, we discussed this method, uh, but in the exam, instead of asking scalar potential, they are asking velocity. Okay, uh, what is the name? Uh, Lakshmi Narayanan. What is the other name of scalar potential? Sir. Ah. Uh, what is the other name of scalar potential? The exam they are asking. Maybe some of the students uh, uh, got confused, but I think most of the students are, uh, are done it. Okay. I think I want to show. Uh, uh, okay. But I never used that word uh, in the classroom. But. Uh, uh, I think you are better than me. So, so here it is. Uh, you can see. Okay. So, a fluid motion is given by uh, V vector. Is the motion irrotational? If so, find the velocity potential. Actually, this book is a DAS book. I think I shared this book. So, uh, the question sector maybe set the questions from either from Grival book or uh, Das book or Virad. Okay. But uh, you should know the basic concepts. But sometimes uh, uh, these types of, uh, uh, suppose if you don't know the other names, then it is a little bit uh, difficult to answer the question. That's just why you should go through the 
uh, remaining books which I signed, which I uh, shared through WhatsApp and the GCR. Uh, the, okay, I think Grival book I shared through uh, GCR. Okay. So, okay, uh, dou phi by dou x is equal to 2xy plus, uh, sorry, is it q? Okay, so this implies phi equal to uh, 2 x square y by 2 plus uh, x is a q plus uh, function of y and z or a term independent of x. Okay, similarly, uh, dou phi by dou y dou phi by dou y is x square. So this implies uh, phi equal to x square y plus a term independent of uh, y. And dou phi by dou z equal to 3 x z square. This implies uh, if you integrate with respect to z, you get phi equal to 3 x uh, z cube by 3 plus a term independent of z. So you can cancel 3 and 3, you have 2 and 2. So x square y is a repeated term. Similarly, x is a cube is a repeated term. So your phi is uh, uh, phi is x square y. What is the final answer? X is a cube plus c. Okay. So now work done equal to. integral a to b a is the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 uh, 3 comma 1 comma 4 f factor dot dr vector okay so we know that the f factor is uh, equal to del phi so integral del phi dot dr vector so 1 minus 2 1 3 1 4 so this is nothing but uh, del phi dot dr vector is uh, d phi i am i am writing directly because already we discussed uh, here uh, that uh, this is uh, del phi dot dr vector equal to uh, d phi. So I skip these two steps. So from the point 1 comma minus 2 comma 1, 3 comma 1 comma 4, which is equal to uh, phi. So 1 comma minus 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 comma 4 okay now you know phi what is phi x uh, x square y plus x is a q plus c 1 minus 2 1 3 1 4 so 
9 into 1, 9. So plus 3 into uh, 4 cube. Uh, 3 into 4 cube is 64. Uh, 3 into 64 plus C minus uh, X. So minus 2. X square O is minus 2 plus X Z cube is 1 plus C. So which is equal to 9 plus uh, uh, this is uh, 180, 192 or 201. So totally I will write 201 um, minus uh, plus 1. So plus C minus C gets cancelled. So final answer is. Third column Third column Find the Work done by the force F vector equal to ZI vector plus XJ vector plus VK vector uh, when it moves a particle along the arc of the curve, r vector equal to cos t into i vector plus sin t into j vector plus tk vector from the point uh, t equal to 0 to t equal to 2 pi. Uh, okay. So, what is given the question? r vector equal to cos t into i vector. Plus sin t into j vector plus t into k vector. So from this uh, we have x is equal to, because we know that r, r vector equal to xi, yj is at k, so x is equal to cos t and y equal to sin t and z equal to t. So dx is equal to minus sin t into dt dy equal to cos t into dt dz equal to dt so interval over c uh, i need to find the work done by the force so interval over c the factor dot dr okay interval over c f factor is what f factor is given the question okay dot dr vector i will write directly okay if you take a dot product you will get what okay otherwise i'll write z i vector plus x j vector plus y k vector dot product with D, uh, uh, dr vector dr vector is dx into i vector plus dy into j vector plus uh, dz into k vector dz into k vector take a dot uh, dot product so c in z into dx z into dx, x into dy plus y into dz. Uh, so dot product is over. So next is that equal to substitution? Is that equal to t and dx is equal to minus sin t? Just substitute. Uh, okay. So interval over. Uh, don't put c. So t into minus sin t into dt plus x dy x is cos t dy is cos t into dt so cos square t into dt and then y dz sin t into dz is d so dt sin t into dt Okay, so t varies from 0 to, if the question it is given 0 to 2 pi. So 
I will write uh, like this 0 to 2 pi minus t into sin t dt plus uh, you can write this is 1 plus cos 2t two by 2. So 1 by 2 into integral 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cos 2t uh, into dt plus uh, integral 0 to 2 pi into sin t into dt. Okay. So now I'm going to here I'm going to use the Bernoulli's formula. I'm not going, or you can use integration by parts minus. Uh, I'm, now I'm going to use uh, Bernoulli. So keep t here. If you integrate uh, sine t, you'll get minus cos t. And then for the formula you have minus. If you differentiate t, you get one. If you integrate uh, minus cos t, you get uh, minus uh, sine t. Limit is from 0 to 2 pi plus 1 by 2 uh, t plus sine 2 t divided by 2. Okay, now if you integrate this, you get to minus cos t. So limit is from 0 to 2. So now uh, I can say this is uh, 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit. So if it is only for upper, then I, I don't write like this. Okay. If it is uh, 0 for both the limits, then only I will write uh, just 0. Because sine 2 pi 0, sine 0, 0. Similarly, sine uh, here I should write the limits 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so again, sine 4 pi is 0, sine 0, 0. So remaining, I have only this and this and this. Okay, so this is nothing but uh, plus t cos t. Yeah, I will write here plus uh, t cos t. But uh, if I put uh, t equal to 2 pi, so 2 pi into minus into minus plus 2 pi into cos 2 pi is 1. Cos 2 pi is 1 minus uh, 0 because here t equal to 0 so that's why it is 0 uh, and then again this is that here you have what 1 by 2 into 2 pi t equal to 2 pi minus t equal to 0 and the minus cos 2 pi is 1 cos 0 is 1 so the last term is also 0 so 2 pi here you have pi so 2 pi plus pi is 3 pi the final answer is so 3 pi and still i have 10 more minutes so i will try to finish one more problem evaluate integral over c f vector dot dr, dr vector where f vector equal to sine y into i vector uh, plus x into uh, 1 plus cos y into j vector plus z into k vector. Okay, and uh, c is the circle x square plus y square equal to a square in the xy plane. So, you need to evaluate this integral where f factor is given and c is given. Okay. Uh, but the point see, point is not given, so we will find the points. Okay. Uh, now, what is R vector? R vector equal to xi vector plus uh, yj vector plus zk vector. And then I will calculate uh, dr vector is uh, dx into i vector plus dy into j vector plus dz into k vector okay so if you take a dot product f vector dot dr vector equal to uh, sine y into dx plus uh, x into 1 plus cos y 
into dy and plus cos y into dy mm. and then uh, dr vector plus uh, z into dz z into dz so i found the effect of dot dr vector but uh, uh, we are in the xy plane so in the xy plane is it equal to zero so sine y dx plus x into 1 plus uh, cos y into dy okay since uh, is that equal to zero in the xy plane Okay, now uh, let's calculate interval over C effector dot dr vector. So this is equal to uh, sin y into dx, sin y into dx uh, plus x into 1 plus cos y. into dy where c is given the question x square plus y square equal to a square the circle with the centered at origin and the radius a so now on the circle uh, x square plus y square equal to a square so x is equal to a cos theta and y equal to a sin theta and uh, we need a dx and dy dx is equal to minus a sin theta into d theta and uh, dy equal to a into cos theta into d theta so theta very strong 0 to 2 pi because it is a circle so x square plus y square equal to a square so theta a very small 0 to 2 pi so integral over c f vector dot dr vector equal to integral over c uh, sin y into dx plus uh, plus x into uh, cos y dy I'll write just multiply x into cos y dy plus x dy you can write this is interval over c okay so combine these two if you combine these two you can write a differentiation of x into sin y UV method. So x uh, sin y into dx plus x into cos y dy plus x into dy. So now uh, we know the limits. Uh, okay. So before going to the limits, what is x? x is equal to a cos theta and sin a cos theta into sin y y is uh, a sin theta and then i will close the bracket this bracket okay uh, plus uh, plus x what is x a cos theta into dy dy is a uh, dy is a cos theta theta a cos theta into d theta. So now uh, this is nothing but actually integration of uh, dx is what? x. The first part integration of d this is x. So uh, the theta limit is from 0 to 2 pi. 
so the next page i will write this is equal to a into cos theta into sin of a sin theta limit is from theta varies from 0 to 2 pi so this part is uh, over next uh, here a square into cos square theta plus a square into integration 0 to 2 pi cos square theta i will write 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 into d theta okay so again this term is uh, 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit because sine 2 pi 0 so this is 0 means sine 0 0 so 0 into anything 0 similarly theta equal to 0 it is up here sine 0 0 again sine 0 is 0 so the first term is 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit so only i have only I have, uh, remaining I have what? a square by 2. If you integrate this, you will get theta plus sin 2 theta by 2. Limit is from 0 to 2 pi. So, a square by 2, upper limit is uh, 2 pi. So, again, this term is 0 for both upper limit as well as lower limit because sine 4 pi 0, sine 0 0. So just I have only 2 pi minus 0. So final answer 2 2 gets cancelled pi a square. So just I will stop here. Uh, the remaining problems uh, we will discuss tomorrow. Okay. So I think last working day is at 10 uh, July 10. Is it correct? Okay, uh, I think so, but I don't know the CA, third CA, whether they will start after 10 or before 10. So still, I don't know. So, but uh, I want to finish the syllabus as early as possible. So the next week, I will take minimum six hours. Okay, so maybe in the evening, evening time, maybe 5 to 6 or 5 30 to 6 30. Okay, so I will take in the next week. And uh, next week, uh, Tuesday, I can't take the class. So that's why Monday, first hour, I will take the class. Tuesday, I have a, a exam duty. So Monday, first hour, I will take the class. OK, thank you. Sir, uh, they yeah. said you are having model paper from 30th. Uh, 30th, model paper or model exam? A model exam. Yeah, model exam. You have exams that is a prop. So you should know before going to the final exam, I think you need to attend the two uh, two exams. So then only you are familiar with uh, the core tantra, especially how to upload. Suppose if you uh, upload wrongly, how to delete and how to, uh, if you have any doubt, how to contact with your partner. Okay. So you should learn these things. Okay. So the, uh, what is the time? I don't know exactly the time, maybe 9 to, uh, 9 to 9, I think so. You can attend at any time, Is I think so, but I don't know exactly. Please check the uh, website or uh, uh, discuss with your friends. Okay. Yes, sir, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. It's so a last question. Can you show it again? Yeah, last question. Previously. So here x so no, after this one. So here x sine y you how do you wrote it as a cos theta into sine sine of a in here should come yeah. d theta, sir. Here d of x into sine x r. Okay, sir x what is x x is equal to a cos theta okay so but d theta for sine uh, he, here ah uh, yes sir, i thought it would come no no actually mm -hmm. d of x is what 
x is a cos theta sin y is what a sin theta okay sir okay it's more confusing okay sir. are you got it or still you have doubts sir? okay sir i got it sir okay okay good so so kel tapulla questions kel ha okay va thank you sir okay